On this James the Bike Guy, we're checking out an entry-level all-mountain trail bike that is really impressive for the price point. Something that has 150 millimeters of front travel, 140 millimeters of rear, and they don't skimp on anything that's not name brand. So in this video, we're gonna go into the features and designs of this 2021 Giant Trance, as well as find out exactly what it weighs. So if this kind of thing's interesting to you, stick with me and let's check out this bike. The Giant Trance is in Giant's all-mountain trail bike lineup. It's a 27 and a half inch wheeled all-mountain trail bike that's going to have more modern geometry, long travel with 150 millimeters up front and 140 in the rear. And the version we're looking at here is the least expensive entry-level version. So it should bring with it some pretty high value as well as a lower price tag to help somebody get out onto the trail with this being their first real mountain bike or a great way to upgrade out of an older trail bike and get modern geometry. This will fall just below the Trance X, which is a 29 inch version of this bike. And then just above the Stance, which is the most inexpensive way to get into full suspension from Giant. But this bike, the Trance, doesn't make any concessions as far as capabilities or specs to get to the lower price point, but rather it's packing quite a bit of what you'd need for a good trail bike right out of the box. The frame on this giant trance is made out of their ALU XX SL grade aluminum. This aluminum is hydroformed as well as butted so you can see the shaping on the tubing is pretty significant. It runs internal cable routing. You have a spot for a single water bottle cage right here and then the suspension on the back of the bike is Giant's well-known Maestro suspension. So basically what Maestro suspension is, is it's a progressive suspension design that helps balance pedaling, braking, and bump compliance by having a virtual link that happens right here. So you'll see the link goes just above the bottom bracket. It's going to rotate. Then you go to the solid swing arm in the back end to a forged composite rocker link that's driving down on the Fox shock. Now this shock is different than what you'd typically see because this is what's called a trunnion mount, meaning that the shock mounts go right into the top of the head of the shock, whereas in most there used to be an eyelet up top. And the reason they do that is they allow in the same size range to be able to run a longer stroke shock, meaning that the bike's gonna be more supple and feel smoother through the suspension path. And it also increases some customization. Now, neatly, it still is running a mount to be able to put a chain guide from the top and then down around the bottom bracket, you'll see there's ISCG mounts, which allow you to run a chain guard, bash guard, that sort of thing. So all aluminum rear end with boost 148 through axle and back. And going up forward, you'll see the internal cable routing comes to this inch and an eighth to inch and a half head tube. That head tube connects the 150 millimeter front fork. The fork on the bike is the RockShock 35. This RockShock 35 is the gold version, which means we're gonna have compression adjust, be able to go from all the way open with detents down to closed. And then on the other side, you'll have an air adjustment to be able to add and remove air, as well as this is compatible with 35 millimeter air tokens to be able to customize the ramp and the feel of the fork. The fork's 35 number comes from the 35 millimeter thick stanchions, which go down to aluminum lowers and a boost 15 by 110 through axle. The shock we were talking about before is the Fox Float DPS shock. Here we'll have rebound and compression adjust with three positions to be able to go from climb, trail, and descent. And it does have Giant's own custom tune to dial in the 140 millimeters of suspension out back. Cockpit wise is pretty standard with Giant's aluminum contact trail handlebar. This is a 31.8 millimeter bar clamp handlebar, meaning the size of this clamp. And then it has an overall width of 780 millimeters. It connects to the forks steer tube via the Giant contact stem also 31.8 millimeter clamp, of course. And interesting to me is the grips that are coming on the bike 
are lock-ons. This is really nice to see on a stock bike, especially on the lower end price point, because it keeps the grip from rolling around on you, and these have a pretty nice feel to them. The saddle is the giant Romero mountain bike saddle, mounted up on a 30.9 dropper seat post. This being the giant contact switch dropper, runs a 1X style lever, which allows you to come over here almost like a shifter. Press it down with your body weight off of the saddle, saddle will come right up, put your body weight back on, press it, and it'll drop right back down. That's gonna allow you with the saddle in the lower position compressed down, so this height can go all the way down there, allow you to put your weight further back on the saddle and make descending quite a bit more capable. Now speaking of descending, let's talk geometry. So the Giant Trance is a 27.5 wheeled bike, comes in small to extra large, and in the size medium like we're looking at here, it has a seat tube angle of 73 and a half degrees, a head tube angle of 67 degrees, a fork rake of 42 millimeters, and a chainstay length of 435 millimeters. That means that you'll end up with a stack height of 591 and a reach of 435 millimeters. And that slots it right into the middle range of a more progressive mountain bike today. Not the most progressive, but also not so slack that it's gonna have wheel flop. So it puts it in a nice place for somebody who's getting a trail bike and wanting to be able to prioritize climbing and descending, as well as being very playful with those smaller 27 and a half inch wheels. The Giant Trance is well specced running a 12 speed Shimano Deor drivetrain. So you have the Deor rear railer, which is a clutch system. You can turn on and off, giving more control over the chain and making it run quieter. And then a micro spline rear cassette going from a 10 to 51 tooth gear range. That gives you 510 percent gear range which is greater than most 2x10s used to be and then up front they have the Praxis Cadet crank set. I personally am a huge fan of Praxis stuff. They're a company out of California and I feel like they build really nice things and this has their wave technology chain ring with a narrow wide setup 30 tooth and that's going to help keep the chain on the chain ring even without a chain guard. And up top, you have the Shimano Deor 12-speed shifter. This shifter has multi-click to easier gears, single-click to harder gears, and the neat thing, you can operate it thumb-thumb or thumb-index finger. Now, braking the bike is some Shimano hydraulic brakes. These are a mineral oil brake, and they're running the MT-401 brake levers and the MT-420 four-piston calipers on 180 millimeter front and rear rotors. Wheels and tires on the Giant Trance are tubeless right out of the box. So you've got the high roller, two tires, front and rear, and a 27.5 by 2.5 inch width. These are the wide trail version, meaning it's got a wider contact patch, designed for super wide rims, which on here are the giant 30 millimeter internal width, double walled aluminum rims. And something I really like is they're laced up to some Shimano Boost hubs. It's awesome to see the Shimano Boost hubs on the bike because that should increase the durability over some of the other more basic hubs you can get. And that laced up with those 30 millimeter wide rims should make for a pretty durable setup especially with those high roller two tires with the exo protection sidewalls. The actual weight of the Giant Trance size medium comes in and weighs. Thirty two point seven two pounds. Thanks for watching this video on the Giant Trance. Go ahead and let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. While you're at it, be sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to click the thumbs up. It lets me know you enjoyed the video.